Welcome to our latest episode of Journey Students Online. Thank you for tuning in. We hope wherever you may be and however you may be watching this, we hope this positive content encourages you right where you're at. Welcome. This week, we're going to discuss the topic of, very exciting, wait for it, respect. Oh, I know most of you are like, I don't want to listen to this. Uh, hear me out. It actually might help you out. Um, I am a youth pastor, so I get this quote a lot from my teenagers. They say, why do I need to be respectful to someone who's not respectful to me? Now, honestly, that's a great question, and I can relate to that. When I was in 10th grade, I had a math teacher. I won't say his name because I'm not going to disrespect him like that, but I learned something in that math class. My math teacher did not like me. He actually used that sentence out loud for the whole class, and I determined that day, well, if he doesn't like me, I don't like him, and I'm not gonna respect someone who doesn't respect me. And the moment I did that, I actually made my life more miserable. And I would suggest the reason people's lives are a little more miserable is because they don't know how to show honor and respect. I'm not saying you have to just roll over and take it. I think that there's a positive way you could discuss with someone who doesn't like you. But the first step, number one, no matter what, is learning to honor and respect people in authority because it will go well for your life. In fact, the Bible tells us, honor your father and mother, and it comes with a promise. It does, it comes with a promise. If we honor our father and our mother, that's just the bottom line of respect. In fact, what happened was when I realized I was making my life more miserable, I changed my attitude, came in with respect, and I began to learn things and began to have a much better experience. I would suggest many of us who are struggling in our life and discontent, if we would just change our attitude and be respectful, we might see life and enjoy life just a little bit more. In fact, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 9, 10 through 12, it says, fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. Wisdom will multiply your days. Well, we all want better and more days and add years to your life. If you become wise, you'll be the one that benefits. If you scorn wisdom, you will be the one to suffer. Well, that's just the reality of it. Many of us are suffering because we don't want to listen to wisdom. And one of the basic bottom line wise things you can do is honor people who are in authority. I get it. If someone's disrespecting you, you don't want to honor them. I get that feeling. But the first thing that you do, if you turn that attitude around and realize, God put this person in my life, they may not be a good reason, but it's learning to honor their position more than anything else. Just honor the position, honor the teacher, honor the parent being able to listen when being spoken to. If you can honor them, placing them above respect is putting that person in a higher place of authority in your life, honoring them, making them feel good by the way you're reacting, lifting them up. You can do that. Your life will be so much better. Your years will be added to you because you're lifting that person up. Honor and respect, I get it. It is not something that our culture teaches us. In fact, we're taught in culture today, Fly, everything we're told in culture today is completely opposite of that. It we're all about, you know, getting our signs and getting out there and yelling. And I'm not saying we shouldn't have a voice, but the first voice that we should have is honoring and respecting those that are above us. And when we do that, it changes our heart and it allows us to receive and realize that the position is what God instituted. Not the person often, it's the position and when we do that, it goes well with us and it changes the environment, changes our mind and changes our heart. And God can work with that. And I often tell people why they ask, why isn't God working in my life? Hey, it starts with honor and respect. If you can't honor him and respect him, the reality is God's not going to honor that either. I'm not saying God doesn't love you. He always loves you. But when we can honor and respect the position of authority in life, man, it comes with a tremendous amount of peace and blessing. I hope this helps you where you are. Thank you for tuning in. We hope to hear from you. Comment in our video below, like and subscribe. Meet us on a Wednesday at Journey Students. Wherever you are, we love you. God bless.